So Kaiser Permanente was really excited to fund EDRC as part of our Healthy Lifestyles focus area. And um, we really believe that people need to learn about healthy lifestyles, not just in the physician's office, but in the community. And so EDRC has done a great job of blanketing the community, whether it's through uh, medical providers, by reaching out to community members, community organizations, and just generating awareness both about eating disorders amongst people who may be um, struggling with it, as well as uh, making sure that providers really understand proper treatment. So we're very excited to, to be supportive of this program. So I, I support Kaiser Permanente as the community benefit manager, and so I oversee our community benefit portfolio. And one of our key focus areas is healthy lifestyles. EDRC has been an important part of that portfolio because it's helping to make helping us to make sure that um, people in the community are getting the message about healthy eating, whether it's medical providers or uh, community members or whole communities. Personally, I know that I go to the coffee shop and I see the EDRC posters and see the support line and I feel really proud that we're supporting it because I know that we're reaching people um, at every corner and I know um, the staff is really committed to thinking outside of the box and trying to figure out you know, where that piece of information may be received. Again, whether it's a, an, a formal healthcare setting or an informal healthcare setting because they really believe that you have to keep giving people that opportunity to reach out for help and that's that's a critical part of, of healing. Um, in addition to being a funder for EDRC, we also have a lot of employee involvement and specifically I want to mention Dr. Siham Eldawani who is a board member and her passion for this is I think an inspiration to EDRC and it's certainly an inspiration to me. Um, she's a pediatrician and very concerned with adolescent health and so she's a real strong champion and advocate and I think it really shows um, not only our institutional commitment, but the commitment of, of individuals throughout our organization to really help move forward this issue and get information out and help people to heal and be healthy. Well, EDRC has actually reached out to Kaiser through a number of um, venues. Uh, I've had a personal relationship with Janice Brennis, our executive, the executive director, for many years. Um, and uh, many of our physicians also have a relationship with Janice. Janice. And so for people who know the organization, you know that Janice is really the heart and soul of this. And it's just been really exciting to see her take on a more, more formal role um, with this organization because I know it's an issue she's been a champion for for so many years. So, um, you know, it really comes down to personal relationships as the starting point, but it's such a systemic, uh, well-aligned component for us. So, you know, it started with individuals, but I think, again, the, the two agencies really um, have a mutual benefit in making sure that we get these messages out to the broader community.